In last week's tutorial, I show you how you can design this calendar in Affinity Designer. And today we're going to use this as a source file to create a nice digital planner using another software from this family, Affinity Publisher. Like always, I will drop a link in the description so you can download the final thing we are designing here today together. Okay, let's open up the publisher. All right, now I'm going to change the size to letter and this time, not a vertical one, but horizontal one. It will be with 300 dpi as they give us for default. So just double check that. It should be 300. For pages, I need 13 pages. Okay, colors, all good. For margins, I will reduce that. I just need 0 0.5 on all sides. I don't know why, why we still got this one inch huge margins. Bleeds, I will temporarily reduce bleeds because I plan to have a white backdrop to the edge. But if you plan to have a colorful backdrop, you will need to put the bleeds back in the properties. But for simplification here, I will just put them to zero for now on and I hit create. Here we are. I will just copy and paste January to page number two here. I will keep page number one empty so you can make some kind of cover for yourself. Page number two, I will put the January here. So I head back to our document from last week tutorial. I copy January, comment C, comment V, copy paste shortcuts. Here it is. And I think I will not even touch the size. I like the size. Or maybe I will resize it just slightly. And it will stick to this margin because this is half inch. It's perfect. Just like that. And now we got this right side where we can put uh, lines, right? So let's do that. This will be space for us to make notes because it's a planner. So we got calendar on one side and then we will have some space here for writing down stuff. So I will just use the line tool built in our pen tool. So click the pen tool and then you can switch to line mode. That's the line tool. <laughs> Some people complaining there's no line tool in Affinity Publisher. Here it is. Just use the pen tool and change to line mode. And now we got the proper line tool. All right. So I got one line. Let's adjust the stroke. All right. We need to duplicate this. So I hold command and move it down. And now I simply press Command J to power duplicate. I keep pressing Command J. And this way I make not only the copy, but also the last transformation that happened. So it's moved down automatically for me. All right. And now I'm going to group it all. Command G to group. And I will actually take this group away from here. And I will put it on the master page. So I take, I click Command X to cut. We go to master pages and I'll put it in the master page on both sides like that because we'll have this on each page except the first one that we need to detach from the master page. Okay, now if I go back to the actual pages, I got those lines for taking notes on every page already. So it will be really easy for me. Let me just copy and paste those calendars from last video to our publisher document. All right, so here we are. We got our calendar for each month and we got those lines on the right side where we can take our notes in this digital planner. It's all rather raw and simple because it's more like a template for you to customize it. So remember, everything is editable. All of the text, you can select the text in the table. You can edit the font, color of the font, size, up to you. You can put some stickers, personal pictures. All right, so we got 13 pages because I keep one page for the front cover. But as you may guess, we don't need those lines on the front cover. So let's detach this first page, page number one, to not use the master page here. So I right click on it and I clear the master page. So it's not linked to the master page. Master page is like the overall template here. 
we got only one right now that is applied to all of the pages so if you want to make some changes on all pages you can simply double tap on the master page here let's say you're adding some kind of shape here with color all right and if you put it directly on the master page and then go back to your pages you will notice that it's already on every page here so that's a really handy feature of affinity publisher that's why we move from designer to publisher for this project i hope this template will be useful as i mentioned i will drop the link in the description where you can download this for free i will see you in the next tutorial